Hello. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports of your activities for a little while now and wanted to meet you myself. The reports label you a troublemaker, but also extraordinarily capable. And right now, I can use all the capable people I can get. Crocker gets handed the fluff missions that no one else wants to do. When people need something really important done, they come to me. Usually, I dispatch one or more rangers to see these things through, but I'm a little short-handed at the moment. Think you're up for a real mission? Since the majority of my men are on assignment dealing with the Legion, I need someone to handle other matters that have arisen. Make no mistake, there's a battle coming, and I intend to make sure there are no loose ends when the time comes. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Khans. Have you heard of them? Good riddance. You've had reports for years that they're the ones who supply the fiends with chems, but no one's done anything about it. In any event, no one will miss them. And I've got another mission for you. We've had some disturbing reports recently concerning the Omertas, one of the three families that run the Strip. Our intelligence has discovered that high-ranking members of the Omertas have been having clandestine meetings for the past several months. We haven't been able to determine whom they've been meeting with, but if it's Caesar's men, we'll need to act. I need you to uncover what they're up to and stop it if it threatens the NCR. Any questions? Excellent. You'd think living in the lap of luxury and power would be enough for some people, but no. Now that that's out of the way, let's see. Mr. House was a concern, but someone conveniently dealt with him for us. Oh, that reminds me. You might be happy to know that your efforts haven't gone unnoticed. The Brass have been throwing around the idea of having the President visit the dam for a while now, to rally the troops and boost morale and such. With our recent achievements, they finally feel secure enough to stage the damn thing. But while it's being planned, I have one last mission for you. Several years ago, we managed to wrest the Helios-1 solar power station from the Brotherhood of Steel chapter local to this area. It was a crushing victory, but no one's heard a peep from the Brotherhood since. Most people assume the Brotherhood is scattered and not a threat. Recently, we've had scouts go missing in an area west of Helios, and I'm concerned that the Brotherhood is involved. I want you to find them, and once you do, finish them for good. Any questions? Oh, that's a relief. A Brotherhood attack while we're busy with the Legion would be catastrophic. The situation being what it is, we can't afford to lose even a single man unnecessarily. But we've got more important matters to attend to. The President is due to arrive soon, and we're sure the Legion won't waste such an opportunity. I want you to assist the security detail we've prepared for the President. His safety is critical to maintaining the men's fighting spirit. Go up to the visitor center and speak to Ranger Grant. He's in charge of security during the President's visit. Dismissed. You're the one Colonel Moore sent to help out with the President's visit. Well, I'm running security for the visit, which means I'm in charge. If anything goes down, you tell me first, you got that? We've got a lot to do to prepare for the President's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? Make it quick. We've got a lot to do to prepare for... Good. The President doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Let's get some rest, and we'll have a brief talk first thing in the morning. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. 
President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. But don't take too long. Hey, you haven't seen my friend around here, have you? His name is Ben, and he's an engineer. We were supposed to meet up so we can watch the president's speech together. But he hasn't shown up yet. Why would you say something like that? That's just mean. Just leave me alone. Coming to give a big fancy speech to all us troops stationed here at the dam. I'm pretty excited. He seems like such a nice guy, and I get to meet him. He's giving me a medal. I don't know why, though. I'm just doing my job like all the other guys. I'm still excited, though. Mama always told me not to talk to strangers. But you seem like a nice person. Mama left me on a farm when she went out prospecting. But when she never came back, the owner didn't want me around. Kicked me out on my own. A nice guy came up and asked me if I wanted to join the NCR, so I did. Now the troopers are my family. I like it here. Everyone is so nice. If I was the assistant. I'd be up on that ridge. Or if I didn't care about escaping, maybe that near tower. Or the landing pad behind us. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. I'll meet you on the observation deck. Have you finished your security sweep? Looks like that's his vertebrate coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee.
Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen I'd like to thank, thank you for coming, coming out here today for this very special, special occasion. occasion. It is, it my, is my pleasure, pleasure to, to introduce to you the, the president, president of the new California Republic, Aaron Kimball. Thank you, fellow Californians, who have come so far to answer the call to service put forth by the Republic. It is for you that I have come here, and it is because of you that I am able to do so. We enjoy our privileges because you take the greatest of risks and are prepared to make the most noble sacrifices. What are you doing up here? Oh, shit. Really? We should go take a look. Uh, I think I should check it out first before radioing it in. Fuck it. You are more trouble than you're worth. And it's because those men and women are fighting. Mass Jeremy wants that Nevada and the new California Republic remain free report and secure. Damn it. I can't believe the Legion actually got someone past our security. Good job catching them. I'll have a security team sweep the area to see if the Legion has any more surprises for us. I'm also canceling the president's speech. We'll have a security team get him out of here right away. But let's not relax until he's safe. Born in a tin shack, shack on the outskirts of one high. high. Jeremy Watts never had any easy. easy. His father was, was a caravan guard on the short route, and his mother. Like many, like many Californians, Californians brave the ruins of the old world, world. as a prospector. They, they suffered, suffered through water, water shortages, shortages raider attacks, attacks, and, and the Brotherhood, Brotherhood War. war. Like our, our mighty Sierra Nevadas, they endured. But the, the time, time came, came and they could go. This is her. job today. We got the president out safe and sound. I couldn't have done it without you. You have my thanks. We won't go quietly. The Legion can kill. Is the President safe? Good. His death could have had a major impact on morale. 
This whole affair was ill-advised from the start, and I, for one, am glad it's over. While you were out, General Oliver arrived and briefed all senior officers regarding a change in our strategy. I'm not at liberty to divulge what was said, but I've been instructed to send you to him immediately. He set up his camp in the office area at the south end of his power plant. Dismissed. Down on that. makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Well, it's about damn time. What took you... Oh. I've been in the Reaper's shadow for a long time now. And I thought he'd finally showed up to collect. He's just mocking me now. Thought I recognized the fellow with you. So what's this reunion all about then? Well, now there's an interesting idea. Do a bit of good before we're all dead and forgotten. You can count me in. Oh, and in case Arcade forgot to mention it, there's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My word is old. Appropriate, huh? If I had to pick anyone who didn't belong in the Enclave, it would definitely be Johnson. He hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question orders, subvert mission objectives, do anything he could to serve without serving. It's amazing he was never court-martialed. He always had good things to say about my father. Said I was like him in a lot of ways. I wish I knew. I wonder if he would. It's pointless, I know, but sometimes I wonder what he wanted me to be. Maybe being a doctor in the middle of Nevada wasn't exactly what he had in mind for his little boy. Looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Been a while, Arcade. So, what's the point of all this? 
Can't find any younger mercenaries? Is that right? The million dollar question is, who exactly are we settling? I wouldn't mind cutting down a few platoons of NCR troopers with my old Gatling laser. All right then, I'll show up at this gathering of yours. It might be good to see the others, Johnson excluded. Arcade might have mentioned there's a passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My part is, remember. Heavy weapons, trooper. Nothing better than hosing down a target with an excess of bullets and laser fire. By the time I got through with things, not much was left standing. Any morons who didn't run when they saw me coming got what they deserved. Back then, it was war. If we'd been on the winning side, I'd be called a hero. <laughs> Moreno took the fall of the Enclave hard. He never questioned his orders, never questioned the legitimacy of what the Enclave was doing. To him, it was all one unbroken chain, from Washington to Richardson. When we left Navarro, I remember looking up at Moreno. He said, kiss America goodbye, boys. When we left the Enclave behind, the love in him burned itself out. Now there's just a bitter old man left. I suppose you're right. When you're part of something for that long, maybe it's impossible to let go without losing part of yourself. Moreno may be a stubborn son of a bitch, but at least he's loyal. You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to Westside? Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? Swooping in on a vertebrate, guns blazing? Haven't done that in years, but all right, I'm in. None of this means a thing if the rest of the group doesn't show up, though. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. Navarro. I miss those days sometimes. We all had a purpose, you know? I admit that some of the folks in charge were pretty ruthless. The rest of us, though, we were just trying to civilize things. The NCR was still new, and it didn't look like they'd last all that long. Then we lost the oil rig, and shortly after that, the base at Navarro. Nobody left except us remnants. Internal sabotage took down the oil rig. Never did get the full story. The NCR took out Navarro, saying we posed a threat to the region. I was the officer in charge, and Johnson and Moreno were my heavy hitters. Henry handled tech things, and Whitman flew the chopper. Johnson and Moreno never got along, and I had my hands full keeping those two apart some days. It was a difference in philosophy, mostly. Mercy was not part of Moreno's vocabulary. Uh-huh. Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together over the years, and with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome in the group. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. Not loyalty to the Enclave, or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with him. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They went through a lot together, but my family went through it too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor.
Someone finally put down that sick motor runner son of a bitch. Good riddance. Your travel's been going all right? Told you everything about us, did he? Well, it's been a while since I've had my hands on the controls of a vertibird. There's a chance I could crash us in the middle of Lake Mead. That place seems to attract aircraft for some reason. But if I get one more chance to fly, count me in. I'll be there. My part of the passphrase is dear. I was never happier than when I was in the cockpit. I was able to go just about anywhere and everywhere, limited only by the fuel I could carry. There were more than a few missions where I took the scenic route home just so I could stay in the air. Caught hell for it every time, but worth it. Some of the things we did were questionable, I know. That's just how it was back then. Figure I've done enough good to make up for any sins, anyhow. I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Since my mother died, Daisy's been the only woman in my life. She was the only other woman close to my father, too. She flew him out on over a dozen missions, including his last. I've always been close to Daisy. There have been some good men along the way, but lovers make poor confidants. Daisy never had children of her own, so she was always there to listen. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. She just loved to fly broke her heart to be grounded. As screwed up as it sounds, at least she was a part of something. Granted, it was something admittedly pretty bad, but it was something. If you spent the first half of your life flying enclave troopers in a vertebrate, I suppose picking over pre-war rocket parts doesn't quite compare. Is there something else I can do for you? I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Oh, you'll need my word from the passphrase to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. Yes, yes. Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. I'm sure Henry has goals. He was just more concerned with the how than the why of things. Being in the Enclave didn't really mean much to him. I guess I'm lucky that I'm part of the followers. Helping people as a doctor is important, but with the followers, it feels different. It feels like we're working towards something more important. That's more than the sum of the good deeds that we do. Move along. 
President Kimball survived his visit to Hoover Dam. Nice one. Now, moving on. Please, go on. You really know how to make a robot happy. Seriously, you just made my day. That accounts for all the tribes you needed to get them done. You did a super job wrapping things up, and I'm not just saying that because I have to. This gadget I'm handing you is called an override module. Mr. House had two of these made years and years ago. Just like him to think ahead. Take the module to the El Dorado substation and attach it to the power control terminal. I'll handle the rest. Great! When this is taken care of, we'll be all set for the Legion to make its move. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Glad to see you made it here all right. So, who are we going up against? Marino, Johnson, Henry and I will be the boots on the ground. Whitman will stay with the vertebrate. This was a minor refueling station for vertebrates. It seemed an appropriate place to stash our equipment if we ever needed it. I'm surprised this place hasn't fallen apart. When I put it into standby mode, I expected to return to it within a few years, not decades. 
robots on the strip, securitroids or what have you. Well, they've been acting different or something. Don't you love seeing the lucky 38 all lit up? Sign of things to come. Exciting news! The Legion's massing troops in a staging area east of the dam. Attack imminent! Monster of the East ready to roll! Well, some of Mr. House's projections predict a moderate probability of civil instability subsequent to the NCR being driven from the Vegas region. One of the mitigating contingencies he planned was to enlist the followers to provide increased medical aid throughout the region. Just seems like it might help keep things stable when we go independent. Not that I know what I'm talking about. Wonderful. I'll keep tabs on the situation at the dam. See you in a bit. We should get to the Hoover Dam. I don't want to miss this. If that's what you think. I'll make my way there. Lead the way. Hey, you're the one who's... Can you believe they tried killing our president? I've heard a few patients mention the Securitrons are acting strangely, and no one has heard from Mr. House in a while. If House is out of the picture, maybe we'll be able to get our hands on some of his technology. It would help our scientists greatly. What? You don't show any signs of physical dependence. And Why should we support Vegas? They've locked Freeside out of the city and do nothing to help their neighboring townsfolk. Wow. Whatever you have planned must be pretty big to give them the boot, but this sounds dangerous. 
I refuse to put my people at risk. If the NCR are pushed out, the raiders and other scum will run amok. It is indeed our duty to teach and improve the living conditions of our fellow man, but we're talking an insane amount of logistics to make this work. I think I see now what you intend to set in motion. If this plan will bring us one step closer to revitalizing the region, you can count on our support. So long as you keep us supplied, we will stay in the Mojave to provide care and education for those in need. Don't they know who they are? Are you ready to head for the dam? Caesar's Legion is due to attack at any moment. Well, some of Mr. House's projections predict a moderate probability of civil instability subsequent to the NCR being driven from the Vegas region. One of the mitigating contingencies he planned was to enlist the followers to provide increased medical aid throughout the region. Just seems like it might help keep things stable when we go independent. Not that I know what I'm talking about. Sure, no problem. Still waiting on that decision. Then that's the plan. We're gonna have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he's made up his mind about something, there's no changing it. Seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You I didn't come all the way out here just so we could save the fucking NCR. I'm out. I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. <sighs> Fine, I'm in. But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. Thanks for doing this. Getting them all back together again. I'll be honest, when Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all going to shake out in the end, but at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. 
I was born at Navarro, and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out at the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're going to need every doctor they can get. Good point. You've been encouraging the others to stand up and fight. Maybe I should take the same advice. After all, I also lived in Navarro. There's something I need to go do, but I'll catch up with you later. Thanks again for your help with the others. It means a lot to me. Moreno's a stubborn son of a bitch, but he's also tougher than any of us. I'm glad you were able to talk him into staying. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, she's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. You'll need special training to use it properly, so talk to her as soon as you get the chance. The training might take several hours, so keep that in mind. I hear the NCR. I appreciate you keeping Orion in the group. Since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit a bit cramped, you should take it. It'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly, so let's get started. From the kings have been getting along. That's good news for Freeside. Usually I don't talk to nobody but robots, but lately some of them been two-faced. 